Praise Lord. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for this time, Lord. Even now we have gathered to read your heavenly words. Speak to us through your scriptures. Help us to read and understand all the revelations that you have for us today. Be with us and guide us from the beginning till the end. In the name of Jesus, I ask. Amen. Now let us read the book of Deuteronomy from chapter 32. Give your O ye heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as a rain, my speech shall distill as a dew, as a small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe your greatness unto our God. He is the rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are justice, a God of truth, and without iniquity. Just and right is he. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of th his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Do ye thus require the Lord, O foolish people and unwise? Is not he thy father who hath bought thee? Had he not made thee and established thee? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. As thy father and he will show thee, the elders and they will tell thee, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the Lord of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land and in the waste. Howling wilderness, he led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirreth up her nest, flattereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange guard with him. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he might eat the increase of the fields. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock, and oil out of the flinty rock, butter of cows and milk of sheep, with the fat of lambs and rams of the breed of Bashan, and goats with the fat of kidneys of wheat, and thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape. But Jeshurun grew fat and kicked, the art become fat, the art grown thick, the art covered with fatness. Then he forsook God who made him, and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. They provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations provoked they him to anger. They sacrificed unto demons, not to God, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods who came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. Of the rock who begot thee, thou art in unmindful, and hast forgotten God who formed thee. And when the Lord saw it, he abode them because of the provoking of his sons and his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very perverse generation, children in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. And I will move them to jealousy with those who are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in mine anger, and shall burn unto the lowest shoal, and shall consume the earth with her increase, and set on fire the foundation of the mountains. I will heap mischiefs upon them, I will spend mine arrows upon them. They shall be burnt with hunger, and devoured with burning heat, and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of gray hairs. I said, I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Were it not that I fear the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say, a hand is high, and the Lord hath not done all this, for they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. Oh, that they were wise, that the un oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. How should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight, except their rock had sold them, and the Lord had shut them up? For their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their wine is of the wine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall, their clusters are bitter. 
The wine is a poison of serpents and a cruel venom of asp. Is not this laid up in store with me and sealed up among my treasures? To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their food shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the kings that shall come upon them make haste. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants, when he see that their power is gone, and there is none shut up or left, and he shall say, Where are their gods, the rock in whom they trusted? Which did eat the fat of their sacrifices, and drank the wine of their drink offerings? Let them rise up and help you, and be your protection. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold in judgment, I will render vengeance to mine enemies and will reward them who hate me. I will make mine arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the long haired heads of the enemy. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants, and will render vengeance to his adversaries, and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. And Moses came and spoke all the words of this song in the ears of the people, he and Hosea, the son of Nun. And Moses finished speaking all these words to all Israel, and he said unto them, Set your hearts unto all the words which I testify among you this day, which ye shall command your children to observe to do all the words of this law. For it is not a vain thing for you, because it is your life. And through this thing ye shall prolong your days in the land, to which ye go over the Jordan to possess it. And the Lord spoke unto Moses that very same day, saying, Get thee up into this mountain of Abarim, unto Mount Nebo, which is in the land of Moab, that is over against Jericho, and behold the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel for a possession, and die in the mount where thou goest up, and be gathered unto thy people. As Aaron, thy brother, died in Mount Hor, and was gathered unto his people, because he had trespassed against me among the children of Israel, at the waters of Meribah of Kadesh, in the wilderness of Zin, because he sanctified me not in the midst of the children of Israel. Yet thou shalt see the land before thee, but thou shalt not go there unto the land, which I give the children of Israel. Amen. Now let us read the Romans from chapter 7. No, ye not. Brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law had dominion over a man as long as he liveth. For the woman who hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband as long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. So then if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if a husband be dead, she is free from the law so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law, by the body of Christ, that ye should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. For when we were in the flesh, the sinful impulses, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. But now we are delivered from the law, that being dead in which we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law, for I had not known coveting, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. But sin, taking occasion by the commandment, wrought in me all manner of coveting. For apart from the law, sin is dead. For I was alive, apart from the law once. But when the commandment came, sin revived, and I died. And the commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. For sin, taking occasion by the commandment, deceived me, and by it slew me. Wherefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. Was then that which is good made death unto me? God forbid, but sin, that it might appear, sin 
working death in me by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceedingly sinful. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do, I understand not. For what I would, that do I not, but what I hate, that do I. If, if then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then it is no more I, I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it. But sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. O oh, wretch man that I am, how, who shall del O oh, wretch man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. Amen. Let us continue reading the book of Exodus from chapter 19. In the third mind, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day I came then, in the third, in the third mind, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. For they were departed from Rephidim, and were come to the desert of Sinai, and had encamped in the wilderness, and there Israel camped before the mount. And Moses went up unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shall thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my, in and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. And Moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. And all the people answered together and said, All that the Lord had spoken we will do. And Moses returned the words of the people unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Moses, Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with thee and believe thee forever. And Moses told the words of the people unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people, and sanctify them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their clothes, and be ready on the third day. For the third day the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. And thou shalt set bounds unto the people round about, saying, Take heed to yourself, that ye go not up into the mount, or touch the border of it. Whosoever toucheth the mount shall be surely put to death. They shall not in hand touch it, but he shall surely be stoned or shot through. Whether it be beast or man, it shall not live. When the trumpet soundeth long, they shall come up to the mount. And Moses went down from the mount unto the people, and sanctified the people, and they washed their clothes. And he said unto the people, Be ready on the third day. Come not near your wives. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of the trumpet exceedingly loud, so that all the people that were in the camp trembled. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God, and they stood at the lower part of the mount. And Mount Sinai was altogether in a smoke, because the Lord descended upon it in fire, and the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mount quacked greatly. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and became louder and louder, Moses spoke, and God answered him by a voice. And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mount, and the Lord called Moses up to the top of the mount, and Moses went up. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go down, charge the people, lest they break through unto the Lord to gaze. And many of them 
perish. And let the priests also who come near to the Lord sanctify themselves, lest the Lord break forth upon them. And Moses said unto the Lord, The people cannot come up to Mount Sinai, for thou chargest us, saying, Set bounds about the mount, and sanctify it. And the Lord said unto him, Away, get thee down, and thou shalt come up, thou and Aaron with thee. But let not the priests and the people beg through to come up unto the Lord, lest he break forth upon them. So Moses went down unto the people, and spoke unto them, Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Father, even now you helped us to read your heavenly words and I thank you for that. As we read in Exodus, Lord, as you were ready to speak to the people when they were sanctified. In the same way, help us to live a sanctified life and a righteous life so that even we may hear your voice and walk in your righteous path. Be with us and protect us every day. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. God bless you.